Hi, this is Cindy Nirenberg, and I'm on my journey to lose 65 pounds. Welcome back. And um, this week, I'm going to be sharing some information with you. I'm a little uncomfortable sharing, but I really want to lose this weight for the last time. And to do that, I really have to understand what's going on in my brain, what's happening, what's driving my behaviors. So in order to stay overweight, I've got some bad behaviors that keep popping up like a game of whack-a-mole, and um, I'm ready to get rid of those. So if you've been following along, you know that my weight loss has been pretty slow, and that's the reason it has been slow. Yes, I could go on a crash diet, and yes, I could drop 10 pounds fairly quickly, but I'm choosing not to do that because I want to do this for the last time. And I'm hoping that whatever it is that I'm going through will help some of you. So let's talk about this week. This is the week I've kind of been dreading because um, I knew there would come a week when I'd have to report to you guys that I've gained weight. And this week I did. I gained 1.6 pounds. There was a lot going on this week. And I want to introduce a couple new terms to you today when it comes to managing your weight. And those terms are curiosity and compassion. Curiosity, when we use curiosity in weight loss, curiosity says, hey, what happened objectively? Like, let's get rid of the self-judgment and let's just look at what, what the heck happened. So um, I told you I'd be honest with you, so I'm just going to give you the deal. Um, this week, I was trying to get a whole bunch of medical procedures scheduled before the end of the year. So within like a week, a little over a week, I guess, um, I scheduled four different procedures. I had a, a dental appointment, I had a mammogram, I had a COVID-19 test, and I had a colonoscopy. I would not recommend that you go out and schedule all of your appointments in one week. <laughs> However, that's what happened. So curiosity says to me, what happened this week? Like what was going on? Well, what was going on was that I had a lot of anxiety and a lot of fear throughout these appointments. Like I don't like being at the doctor's office and I certainly don't like going through procedures. So I was potentially faced with two procedures that could result in a diagnosis of cancer. I didn't know. I could walk in, have the procedure, or walk in cancer-free, have the procedure, and then walk out with a diagnosis. That was entirely a possibility. Didn't happen. I'm, I'm totally clear on all accounts. But um, that was what I was facing. So curiosity says, oh, okay, so when I get nervous and when I get anxious, then I turn to food to calm that down. And, you know, it's interesting because I used to um, turn to like sweet things, but as I get older, I'm liking the saltier foods better. So this week I wanted... <laughs> <laughs> I wanted Campbell's chicken noodle soup with saltine crackers. It had to be Campbell's. Don't give me that off-brand. I want Campbell's chicken noodle soup. And then I had my family go out and get me a big giant serving of um, uh, Vietnamese noodle soup. So good. But it has so much salt in it. <laughs> you guys, I have so much salt in my body, I could probably cure meat. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I wanted. And that's what helped to kind of calm me down. And that's where our second word comes into play. Our second word is compassion. Having compassion for yourself as you go through this. Compassion says, you know, what can, you, what can I do? What's wrong? And how can I help alleviate your worry and your fear? You know, we have a lot of compassion for other people, but so often we don't have compassion for ourselves. So as we go through this, we make mistakes, we eat off plan, have a little compassion for yourself to bring it back around. Compassion said to me, um, Cindy, you were freaking out about um, the sedation. Like I've never been sedated before, fully sedated. And I was really worried. Like, am I going to come out of sedation? 
Uh, is it going to be a bumpy ride coming out of sedation? Like what could something go wrong? And compassion says to me, wow, you know what, Cindy, you've been through a lot this week that you're not used to going through. Give yourself a minute. So you need a bowl of soup. You ate a bowl of soup. No big deal. And compassion is so cool because compassion leaves no room for self-judgment. Compassion's like out the door judgment. We've got work to do here. So that's what I want to leave you guys with this week. Use curiosity and compassion for yourselves in whatever it is that you're going through. If we don't get curious about what has gone off, then we never identify what we can change. And if we don't use self-compassion when things haven't gone the way that we want them to go, we end up beating ourselves up. And there's no room for that. So we're here in the holidays. It's Advent and Hanukkah and Christmas is right around the corner. And it's just my favorite time of year. So I want you guys to enjoy the holidays. Remember the two words, curiosity and compassion as you go through your days. And just enjoy the holidays. Have a wonderful time. I'll see you next week with good news.